welcome if you are new. Today's video is super exciting. You're not going to want to miss the whole video, so you're going to want to stay till the end. But we have a grocery haul to share. I have some cleaning motivation as always, and I'm going to be sharing with you a quick cleanup meal at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. I'm going to share with you the grocery haul right now, and then we're going to do some cleaning. All right, so I'm going to show you my grocery haul, but I have separated it between two categories. This category right here are the meals that I'm going to share with you in this video. I decided I will share all of them with you. I think I have about three or four that I'm going to share, so get ready for some easy cleanup meals. But this is what you are going to need for that, or you can substitute for things that you like. So, I'm just going to share these and then I'll add these to a list in my description box in case you miss anything. But, seedless grapes, some chocolate of your choice. I got lint chocolate and these pretzel rods that looked really good. Cheese cubes, pepperonis, little smokies, banana peppers, sweet baby rays, secret sauce. This is like a shrimp sauce like a horseradish flavor, olives, whatever kind of cheese you want because we're going to be making some ham and cheese rolls. So I got provolone cheese and I got some ham. You're also going to need some crescent rolls because we're going to make pigs in a blanket. And here's my regular rolls right here. You're going to need the pepperonis because we're going to make, oh, and toothpicks because we're going to make little shish kebabs out of pepperoni olives and cheese it's gonna be lots of fun some trail mix of your choice and for one of the meals you are going to need popcorn shrimp because we're going to be making some shrimp boats so i will leave all of these items down below in the description box in case you missed anything and let's go ahead and see what else we got at the grocery store today all right, so on to the regular grocery haul. I got these brownies. If you're regular here, you know I pick these up often whenever they're on sale. So they were $2.50. This pie was $3 and it says $3.99, but it was $3.50 on sale. It's a Dutch apple pie. Got some hamburger buns. One night we're gonna eat hamburgers. So got two rolls of hamburger meat. Some cooking spray, a coffee, <laughs> no surprise. Peach tea, I've been drinking more water, so to help me drink water, I use these little flavorings. Got some garlic bread, got some cookies and cream ice cream to go with the pie and the brownies. I got some hamburger patties, makes things so simple. And I got a Salisbury steak brown gravy right there taco seasoning they didn't have the big can of seasoning that i normally get so i just picked up this one but we have tacos about once a week over here there's another peach tea got another just one pack of mashed potatoes because i think i still have a few more some salsa chloe's dog food and then i got uh their sodas were three for ten so i got three of them but if you're curious I live in North Carolina. I went to Food Lion. Our grocery bill for today, including all of the stuff that I shared with you earlier, was $124.
Okay, so for the first meal, I'm going to make these ham and cheese rolls. These are super easy to clean up because you literally just put them together and put them in the oven and wipe down your pan when you're done. So these are the rolls we're going to use. They're like Hawaiian rolls. And then we got the cheese and we got the ham. I left out the olives and these pretzel rods to snack on. I got hummus. And I forgot to mention y'all earlier for your charcuterie boards to get some crackers or just use whatever crackers you have in your house. So we had some of these. That's what we're going to do today. And while I'm having these in the oven, I am going to be rinsing my grapes. y'all so i'm going to preheat my oven to i would say 375 these are not going to have to cook for long get yourself a pan it doesn't matter what kind all right so there's just two of us so i'm just going to do six rolls all together that's three per person but if you have a larger family you will need a whole thing of this or you may need two depending on how big your family is but all you do is tear these apart i'm sure y'all know what I'm making here and then you put your ham and cheese in the middle of it and all you're doing is baking it until the cheese and the ham is heated so it doesn't take long at all and it is super easy to clean up So while that is heating up, I'm going to go ahead and put together our charcuterie board. Now this is a cutting board that was sent to me, I believe by Nicole, but you can use absolutely whatever you want. If you don't have a cutting board like this, you can use whatever you want. So just get creative and we're going to go ahead and put this together. Alright, 
our rolls are done. They took just as long as how it took me to put this together. I'm gonna try my best not to put them right beside the chocolate because they will melt. first ever charcuterie board I've never made one of these before but here it is we got our little sandwiches we got some hummus we got grapes cheese olives crackers some chocolate and I think that is a good lunch right there it's like an adult lunchable so hopefully Aaron likes this he doesn't care for hummus but he'll eat around that and I can't wait to show y'all what we were having for dinner tonight, which is coming up next. So you're in a hurry. Well, you better calm down. All right, y'all. So we are about to cook dinner, as in I. Aaron is outside. He is going to mow the grass. But I wanted to share with y'all what we are going to have for dinner. And also the mess that was left behind for lunch. That way y'all know that this is a super easy clean. So all that we had left over from lunch was this right here. So I'm going to go ahead, get dinner ready. While that's getting ready, I'm going to clean up from lunchtime. I left this out on purpose. I had to charge my camera. So that's why I waited so long to clean it. But that's all the mess we created, which is really cool. So. Let's go ahead and get dinner started, which is going to be our fried shrimp boats. I'm going to bake them in the oven, so also super time efficient meal. Let's go ahead and do it, okay? All right, here's the shrimp we're gonna use. You can use any kind of popcorn shrimp you want. And we are going to just use this whole box because I'm sure me and Erin will eat it. There's only 19 shrimp in here. All right, y'all, this is hilarious. It says there was only 19 shrimp in there. This is definitely, one box is definitely enough. Like, this is a lot. So, I'm going to go ahead, put this in the oven at 425 degrees. And then for 15 to 16 minutes. the shrimp is cooking what you will need for this recipe so we're actually making a dupe 
for Longhorns Shrimp Boats, which Aaron and I both love. So you could deep fry your shrimp, you could air fry your shrimp, however you want to cook your shrimp to where you like it. I just stuck mine in the oven because this is an easy cleanup slash easy meals to make. So these are also like good lunch meals or good dinner meals if you are not super hungry and you don't need like this crazy elaborate meal. So literally all you need for the shrimp boats is the fried shrimp, some banana pepper rings. I like to use this sauce which is the Sweet Baby Ray's dipping sauce. It's the Ray's secret sauce. Let me know what is your favorite sauce to dip your shrimp in. But I believe at Longhorns they give you a sauce that looks like this. Aaron, however, likes to use ranch and his favorite ranch dressing is the Ken's Steakhouse Ranch. So got that as well. That's literally all you need. And if you want it to be an even cleaner meal, you can, especially if you have some that are disposable, but you can use these little containers like this to put your sauce in. That way, when you're done using your charcuterie board, you just literally wipe it down like you saw me do a minute ago. It took like two seconds to wash that board. So, that is all you need. Super simple. Now all we have to do is wait for the shrimp to come out of the oven. But these are also great meals if you're on a pinch for time. Super easy to put together. And yeah. Also random. I wanted to share with y'all. I tried the chocolate that I picked up from Food Line. These right here. If you have, uh, <laughs> if you have rough teeth like where if you eat something sweet it like hits a nerve in you i would not suggest these <laughs> i've been into one of them and i was like oh my nerves were getting to me so be careful with these but aaron did tell me that because he has bad teeth too that these were fine on his gums so this looks super good as well. I want to try one of these. So let's do a taste test. I'm just waiting for this to get done. I'm so excited to edit this video also and get it all put together. I don't think there's been a time where I have filmed from like 11 o'clock was when I started filming. And it is now 5.35 in the afternoon. So it's like a milk chocolate. Mmm. Okay. Try this. If you haven't already, I know it's rude to talk with your mouth full. So I thought that that was like a caramel in there. It is. But it's not the sticky caramel. If y'all know, like, this one had a really sticky caramel in it. And that's what was getting my teeth hurting. But... I already smell my shrimp, so just in a few minutes, I will show y'all what this looks like once it's all put together. It'll be time to eat dinner. On my way to a weekend rumble, I forgot to check where the party was at. dinner is done I know it does not look super fancy but it is super good so we're gonna go ahead and try this right now I got this little shrimp right here and my sauce if you have not tried the sweet baby rays I just call it pink sauce I think it's the only pink sauce they have try it especially if you like horseradish flavored sauces it's good
So at Longhorns, I believe a shrimp boat is like $10. This box of shrimp was $5.59 and we already had the sauce. We already had the Old Bay seasoning. And what else did we use? Banana peppers. That's it. So if you have all that other stuff, $5.59, enough for two people. And I don't have the cute little tray that it comes out in. So I actually just put it in wax paper, which is awesome. Because once you're done eating this, literally just throw your paper away, wipe off your uh, board, easy cleanup. And then all that's left to wipe off is your little paint, your little cups right here in your pan that you use. So I hope y'all enjoy this video and it gave you some cleaning inspiration and also some cooking inspiration. Let me know if you have ever tried the shrimp boat before and what you thought of the charcuterie board. And I was going to tell y'all, I don't know if I already did, but I didn't show you the other charcuterie boards that I have planned because I didn't want this video to be like too repetitive at the end. But you can replace or substitute the rolls for pigs in a blanket or any type of other substantial like satisfying item in there. Erin, do you want to tell them that you like this? Yeah. <laughs> ah, look, I put it in a little paper. Well, he said yeah, but he's not coming in here. Or maybe he is. Uh, there's your sauce. Yep. They like seeing you in the videos. Me. <laughs> Just try one. Are you dirty? Yeah. All right, Aaron's trying it for us. good all right <laughs> so I'll see y'all back here on Friday for another clean with me and if you have not checked out my vlog yet I post there every Wednesday at the same time so 10 a.m. <sighs> anyways I have a shrimp hiding in my jaw <laughs> So if you're new here, subscribe if you like this video and I will see y'all back here in the next video. Bye.